Hey everybody, Heather from Hooktown Picking here. I've got a Bulk.com box that I love to open, so let's see what's inside. You guys are a true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. All right, you know that I love Bulk.com, and I haven't been doing a lot of those lately, but here you go. You get a treat. This is a Bulk.com palette of uninspected returns, 79 separate items, women's apparel, shoes, men's shoes, etc. So sometimes I find some regular random general merchandise. I paid $429 for it, shipped it here for $200, paid $18 in tax for a total of $647.87 which makes each item average out to be about $8.20. We're probably gonna be closer to the $9 range because sometimes there's occasional items that I can't sell out of, the item, out of this, but these palettes have a tendency to be pretty good as of late, so I'm pretty excited about it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this guy opened. Wrapped awesome. I love to see these show up exactly like they look in the pictures, not all discombobulated. So we're gonna get all the Wrapping off here. Cut all the tape back here while I'm back here. Perfect. All right, and then we're just gonna, oh, I missed one in the front. Okay. There we go. Give you a good look inside there. There we go. Packed to the brim with stuff that's going to be so easy to list. So anytime I see men's shoes, I'm super ecstatic because I've been selling men's shoes anywhere from $20 to about $50. So that I know is almost a guaranteed sale. Every time I get suits and puffer jackets, I usually sell those relatively well. Although I do, I need to get those puffer jackets listed right now since it's winter time. So let's just start looking through the stuff. Uh, this is size large black. This is a puffer coat. I actually just sold one of these. Looks just like this. Aren't those awesome? With tags and everything. So I'm gonna keep them with the, the bag it comes with because, let me show you this right here. First off, there's the barcode. If the barcode doesn't scan, there's an LP tag from Bulk that you can look up what they titled it because they did some research and looking it up. Um, and it usually comes from the manufacturer store. So I try to keep all of that together so that I can use those two tools to look things up. Henry Ferreira shoes. I'm just gonna set everything over here so that you can look at them. Look at those boots. Those are nice shape. I'm just gonna unload shoes right now so you can just run right on down the line and look at these. Memory foam ones, JBU memory foam shoes. All right, let's see what else is in there. Okay, we've got a giant pet bed, brown in color. Um, these sell really fast. I've been trying to put these on Facebook Marketplace um, because this seems like the weight does um, deters people from buying it off hookedonpicking.com, but I just added UPS as an option for shipping, so anything heavy, check it out. You might be able to find something you like. And then I've got another puffer coat. This is a U2 size medium um, green puffer coat. Those sell really well. And then I've got Journey Collection, pair of shoes. Oh, look at those, those are some nice black leather boots. Those are size seven and a half. Really good shape, but they're soft, soft leather. And then I've got these Harrison Miles Chukka boots, size eight and a half. So I like the really big sizes for men, but that's still going to sell. Those Chukka boots always sell really well for me. So And I've got a pair of solo duck boots. These are size 11, men's style. Okay. 
And then I kind of wanted to explain this. This was a, a box, it says Tom's on it, which I'm like, yay, Tom's, they sell really well. But then when I open it, these are actually mucklucks. If you look at the button real close. So, yes, and the tag says mucklucks. So that's something I'll have to definitely make sure I'll either rebox them or I'll put a label on it so I know when it's on my shelf to make sure that I'm looking at the right thing. Then I've got some Gino Vitale. Look at those fancy brown on brown dress shoes. I've got a couple of Gino Vitales in here. Let's see if we have all the same kinds or if they're different. Oh, there's some brown on navy blue. Okay, so and then let's see. Oh, look at those. Purple on navy blue. Those are awesome. So let me see. The, uh, the brown on brown are 13, size 13. The brown on navy blue are size 13. And the purple ones are size 12. So those are going to sell lickety split. Um, we already looked at the solo ones. Let's see. Then we've got a leather handbag, MKF. Um, that's a really good one. Those sell great on Poshmark from anywhere from two to three dollars, or not two, sorry, twenty to fifty. I'd say, depending on which style it is. Um, and then I took this coat out of the bag already. This is a three. X hot edition wool dress coat. Look at that. Kind of burgundy color. It's a nice one. So far, all the condition looks phenomenal. I love it. Uh, let's see. We've got a, another puffer coat. This one comes with a fuzzy hood. Let me pull that out for you just so you can see it. It's a pink one. Um, looks like the original price was $120. And these sell really well on my Poshmark store. Look at that. Comes with a belt. A fuzzy hood. That's a size medium. I am not going to get that back in the bag as well as it was before. <laughs> I'll have to fold it up. Okay. Then we've got another pair of mucklucks. Gray ones. Tall boots. Those I'll have to sell right away just because it's winter season. So I'm going to try to get this stuff listed as soon as possible. Got a pair of navy blue sweatpants. A lot of this stuff sometimes I can send into Amazon if it does have a sales rank. So I'll probably look into doing that. Oh, here's a pair of cool shoes. Some kind of suede, but they have a little bit of a heel on them. Yes, size nine. Here's another pair of those uh, Merino, Mio Merino kind of loafers. We've got um, a puffer jacket that's black in color with a fuzzy hood, similar to the pink one, but it's black. And then we've got a blue puffer coat. These I can sell anywhere from, what, 30 to 60, I think, is my normal for those. Okay, now this was really cool. I got something like this in the last Groupon box that I, well, I call it Groupon, but it's bulk.com clothing and apparel. But this has multiple different kinds of the same style of probably sweatpants. Yeah, that's what these are, sweatpants. So there's a navy blue, a gray, a black. Uh, a charcoal gray. And so this is considered one item. Remember I got 79 items in this, but I was actually able to send these into Amazon, something similar to this into Amazon last time individually. So instead of one, I ended up having four items. So that's something that you should consider when buying the clothing lots from bulk. You see that sometimes. Um, here is a size 40 suit. Look at that. Boy, that's sharp. So this is a two-piece suit because it just comes with the pants. It's a Braveman, size 40, um, and then 34 waist, I believe. 40 regular, 34 waist, classic fit Braveman suit. That's a nice one. 
put these shoes away here. Getting down in there. But look at how much is still left in that palette. It's amazing how much they cram into these palettes. I love it. Paws and Pals Fragile, it says. What could this be? We're going to open this up and see. I don't know what could be fragile. It's clearly a pet item because it says Paws and Pals. Is it a gate? Like a... Oh, I bet it's a kennel. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a kennel. I don't know why they would put fet fragile on it. Maybe because the bars are thin. But if it's supposed to hold a dog in, I think it's supposed to be fragile. All right. What is this? Something frosted, wubby, wubby pullover. Okay, just come look at what that says. Wubby, W. H U B B Y. What's a wubby? Should we find out what a wubby is? It's a wubby pullover. Oh, my word is so soft. Look at that. That's cute. My daughter would wear this. Oh, it says. Coffee Shop New York is the brand name. That means it's for me. Me and my obsession with coffee. <laughs> All right. So that's cool. Put that on the pile. All right. What else we got in here? Another pair of shoes. The picture looks interesting on the box. It's like a heeled boot, combat boot. How do we get it open? Let's see which way it opens, though. Which end folds up. There we go. There we go. Ooh, look at those. Those are fancy. Those are a size... 8. Size 8. Kind of a... Navy blue, well, not exactly navy blue. I don't know what color blue you'd call that. Then I've got a pair of light brown mucklucks. Mucklucks sell awesome. Those are size eights. Let's see, JBU, these look like boots. Yes, oh, those are cool. They've got the stretch calf on them and their duck boots. Stormtrooper boots. Stormtrooper boots. They do look like stormtrooper boots. Star Wars. I'm trying to see what size they are. Eight and a half. Eight and a half for your stormtrooper boots. Here's a pair of Vincent Cavallos. Is it taped? There. Oh, okay. So this is a set. Comes with shoes and a belt. And a lot of times online, that's how they sell them. So the box is beat up, but the shoes and everything are great. What else we got? Puffer coats. There's a kind of a burgundy one. Here is a pair, the, another set of jogger pants. I got a pile of puffers. Or something in a trash bag. Should we pull that out right now? Later? Okay. We got a pair of co tall combat boots with lace up backs. Oh, what size those are? Size nines. And we got another pair of boots. Shoes, boots, kind of. Size sevens. <laughs> we were just at the store and my daughter was saying she wanted a pair that looked like this. With the little fuzzy top. Snaps on the side. Oh, probably so you can fold these down if you wanted, I guess. Those are mucklucks as well. This is a Sherpa lined hoodie. Green in color. Kind of army green. Sherpa lined hoodie. 
Here's another puffer coat, puffer coat, puffer coat, and puffer coat. That's gonna be amazing because these sell great. The biggest thing that you get, gotta do with the puffer coats is make sure they don't have a slit or a cut in them. Here's another puffer coat. Here is another pet bed, a Serta smaller pet bed. More shoes on the bottom. Oh, this is like the never ending palette. Another puffer coat. Okay, this I think is a sweatshirt. Let me pull this one out. Actually look at it. I'm pretty sure I've had these before and they usually sell really well for me. I know I don't have any left. Sherpa lined, I think. Yes, so it's super fuzzy on the inside. And they call that Sherpa. At least that's what I call it. I may be totally doing it wrong. But this is a 4XL hoodie. Like a charcoal gray kind of. So the large sizes are awesome because they always sell super well. All right, we got some more burgundy colored boots. Shoes and puffer coats galore. Gino Vitelli. Let's see if we have a pair of purple ones again. I love the purple ones. Ooh, no, look at those. Those are super fancy. You know you want a pair of those. Those are size 10. Let's get those put away. We're gonna open this next one. Another journey collection. The, the last one we pulled out was like a high heeled boot that was similar to these. That blue high heeled boot. But they went crazy on the tape on this box. Yep, they did. Okay. Oh, these are nice. Look at those. Zipper back on them. Um, they're a size nine. Those are sharp looking boots. Uh, the biggest thing you always have to remember is being able to um, check the sizes. Make sure you have both the same sizes. I'm going to start lining some stuff on this other table because we're kind of running out of room over there. So, as you can see, we're maybe halfway. <laughs> And we've got two full tables already totally uh, full with some stuff on the floor even. So that's bagged up and, and such. So I'm trying to get into these this box. I'm not sure if this is shoes or what's in here. Family recipe. Family recipe. Catering, ordering online. Buona? Buona? Food? I don't know. That'd be weird to have food in here. But I don't know how to get in this box. <laughs> Help me, I'm not smart enough. I think I'm doing it right. It's a coat of some sort. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties here. Gotta be 2% smarter than the box. There. All right. And I actually didn't even cut the coat. Spire by Galaxy. Size large winter coat. A cool? That's a good one. Crammed in that tiny little box. All right. Here's a pair of Henry Ferreras. So you can see why these ended up in liquidation. Because look, obviously you can't stick that on a store shelf, but we can look at it and I can sell it without this box. But there's a really nice pair. What? See if the other shoe got nailed. Oh yeah, because that was on the damaged side. Mm -mm. Oh, they're both good. So yes, good idea always to check both sets of shoes. You gotta always make sure you have the right sizes. Uh, here's another JBU. 
Now this box looks nice, so this is probably just a shelf pull. Another pair of boots here. These are olive color, just kind of combat boot, ankle boot style. And we've got, here's a, one of those Sherpa line sweatshirts that I found that was the 4X. Another puffer jacket. This looks like a blue Braveman suit. It is a two piece blue Braveman suit. Let's see. Another puffer jacket. What does that say? Yep. This is another suit. Um, says medium. No, this is a coat, not a suit. It's a size medium jacket, winter jacket. All right, let's see. Um, a 2X puffer coat. All right, oh look, it's another recipe box. <laughs> Let's see what kind of a coat they crammed in this box. Now that I know how to get the box open. Maybe it is a treat. Ah, a yellow version of the exact same coat. All right, let's see what we got here. This is something fleece lined. I wanna pull this out and see what it looks like. It's humongous. Look at that thing. What size is this? Three XLT, so it's, it's a three X, but it's a tall. Thing is huge. All right, I'll keep it. I'm gonna keep it with the bag. All right, I can see the bottom now. I'm curious. Okay, I want your guesses. What's in the trash bag? Let's see if you guys can guess right. All right, Aviva, Avia. I don't know how to say this. How do you pronounce it phonetically? Ooh, nice pair of tennis shoes. Look at those. Memory foam, size eight, size eight men's cross trainers, I guess you call that. All right, I got a pair of rubber boots. Puffer coat, puffer coat. So these will probably, a lot of this is going to end up on my Poshmark store because of the clothing items. What is this? Sugar. Let me get my box cutter. There. Ooh, those are cute. Eight and a half. Oh, look, they're my size. I don't need any more shoes. <laughs> There's always room for shoes. Not in my house. I have a tiny closet. <laughs> That's next on the fixer upper on the house. Build Heather a bigger closet. That's next on the list. So remember, guess what is in that trash bag? It's kind of an odd shape. So I'm curious what you guys think it is. We've got pet beds clothing and shoes thus far in this palette. So, you know, maybe use that as a guide to figure out what's in there. All right. I have a feeling, let me see, here's another one of those wool coats, size small this time, black one. Or we pulled out that burgundy one, same brand. That, okay, come in here real fast. That says Wild Sports. I wonder what that is. It's humongous. Now I've gotten like cornhole games, but that's too thin, I think, of a box to be a cornhole game. X-Ray, I've gotten some X-Ray brand shoes before. Let's see what these look like. This is size 12. There we go. 
Oh, look at those. They look like a honeycomb. Kind of design on them. Those are cool. Yep, size 12. They look super padded. They're like almost a slip-on. Then I found these. These are a Mizu Mizuno, size 11 and a half, tennis shoe. They kind of have like a funky little pattern here that kind of has a 3D look to it. Puffer coat. Here is a gray suit. What size is that? It's a 42 regular, 36 waist. I try not to fall in the pallet. Harrison Miles. Nice dress shoes. Look at those. What size are those? Size nine. Brown cognac, Harrison Miles shoes. Gino Ferroni. I think I'm saying that right. Let me use this. Oh, look at those. Those are bright. Red. Bam. Bam. Size seven. Your high school colors are red and black. There you go. Perfect. Those would be perfect. Walk in, homecoming song. And then just because it makes total sense, let's put a toaster oven in this, in this palette because that, that makes total sense. Toaster oven. I found a weird... Does this one doesn't go with the rest? All right, how many more things we got in there, Paul? Eight, maybe. But so far, I've been super excited about the condition of all these things. Arctic Shield, stay out longer. I'm guessing some really super thermal boots. Let's not chop my fingers off. All right, these look like they've been used because they're all scratched here. I mean, they're still in good condition, but they definitely look like they've been worn because like right here, scuffing. So these were worn probably. Original price was $100 on these. They're size 12s. So those I would definitely not sell new. All right. Here are some rubber boots, size 10, some blue ones. What is this? All right. These are probably women's boots, my guess is. Yeah, look at those. Those are nice leather boots. Zipper on one side. Oh, the leather is so soft. Oh, look at this. Now those are fancy. It's when I can actually use the word fancy and be appropriate. Franco Sarto, designed by Franco Sarto. I'm sure I'm butchering all these names. Okay, here's another pair of shoes. Let's see what kind these are. I love that there's a huge variety of shoes. I don't like to get a lot of the same kinds because if one style doesn't sell, then you're stuck with them. I mean, they do eventually go if you get them priced low enough, but I don't want to have to do that. Ooh, those are neat. Little that pair. Little pair over there, like yeah, there. just like that, but these are black ones. These are tiny foot, too, I feel like. What size are these? Size six. I believe. Yeah, I think so. All right. There's another one in the similar box. Let's see if there's similar style. Nope, these are tall boots. Kind of grayish, brownish. Kind of that weird in between eight and a half. All right, let's see. What are these? These are a pair of these are sweatpants, black sweatpants. All right, shall we see what's in the mystery garbage bag? It's not very heavy, feels squishy. What is in the mystery? Maybe something pet related, I'm guessing.
Yes. Pet steps. See? Squishy pet steps. So they can jump on your furniture with ease. <laughs> All right. Well, that's actually still in good condition. All right. Let's find out what this wild sports is. Last thing I got that was a wild sports item, it was a cornhole set, but that's not this, clearly. Case pack one. All right, let's figure out how to get this box open. Does it say what it is anywhere? New England Patriots tailgate toss. It is. It's a cornhole it's a set? cornhole set for the New England Patriots. Shall we look at it? Has it ever been opened before? No, I don't, well. I don't know if this has been retaped or I don't think so. Shall we look at it? Make sure it's not broken or should we leave it closed? We're going to open it since I already started cutting it. Trying to get it all the way open here. Okay. It does look brand new. Let me lay this down. See if I can just slide it out. Can you see it good? 1960 Patriots, so it's a vintage one. That's cool. I guess 1960 is when they were founded. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, boy, that's in great shape. So, cool. So that is it. That's awesome. So I'm hoping I can sell everything. That is everything in the palette. This actually had a plastic palette on the bottom. But 79 items, I think everything is in good resellable condition. I mean, I'll clearly inspect each and every shoe, make sure we have the same sizes, make sure that there's not scuffing on one shoe and not the other. And just as a reminder, this was a bulk.com palette of uninspected returns, 79 items, women's apparel shoes, men's shoes, and pet stuff. <laughs> that was not on the listing. Um, paid total of $647.87, dollars and 20 cents per item i clearly know especially with those puffer jackets i know i can usually sell those for 20 dollars or more every single time so i know i'll make my money back plus some and some will even sell upwards of the 50 dollar range in those pet beds as well i think i'm definitely going to make a huge profit only had to invest 647 so watch my second video i'm going to go through list everything give you total numbers for everything on the second video so you do see actually how much I'm projected to make after I pay myself back the 647. So hopefully it's been helpful to see what's in this bulk.com uninspected returns um, palette. And if you're looking for anything interesting to buy yourself, check out hookedonpicking.com. I think I have just a few more candy boxes left. Um, and so hopefully it's been fun watching this unboxing. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. Hey everybody, this is Heather from Hooked on Pickin'. I hope you enjoyed this lovely palette unboxing. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you want any of the fun things that I pull out, check out all my links in the description below or my Hooked on Pickin' store. And of course, you're definitely gonna wanna watch more videos. All right, hopefully it's been fun to watch and, and uh, check us out in the next videos.